When building a business or portfolio website, we are sometimes required to embed the Google Map location. This makes our customers easily spot our business. Here, we will discuss the steps to add or embed a Google Map location on a React app. So, we have some prerequisites, means the JavaScript ESX, searching location in a Google Map, and about the React.js library. After completing this article, we will learn to create a new React application using the Create React App tool. And we will add or embed the Google Map in it. The application will look the same as below after coding. It's a website created using React.js and Google Map for the Apple headquarters is embedded on it. So let us start our project. First, open the terminal and we just want to create a new React application. Here, I'm using the Google Map hyphen React hyphen demo hyphen app as my project name. This command will create a React application with the project name we used. So our React application is ready. Now enter the project directory and open our project in any uh, code editor like uh, just a code I'm using here. Now we can uh, start our project and PM start. So our React app is ready. Now we can embed a Google map in our application. So just uh, open the Google Maps and uh, we can search for the Apple Park from here. So now you get the location of the Apple headquarters on California. We have a share button here and just click on it and you can see an embed a map tab here and just click on it and you will get the iframe. Just copy the HTML and just from our you can from the SRC you, you can see an app.js file here. We can edit here and the change will reflect in our website so just paste the uh, iframe we copied from the google map here so i just paste it and uh, save we cannot see anything here and uh, there is something more to do in react we have another format of coding the style to an html tag so just copy this style and just paste here and save it now we can see the google map embedded on our react app the complete code for the app.js file is here You can also refer to the code sandbox link to view the live app. Also, you can uh, refer to the GitHub repository. From here, you can clone this project and uh, modify it.